everyone, and here's a look at your headlines. So we'll have a very hot Monday. Tuesday will be pretty hot as well. Mostly dry conditions for today and for tonight, and the heat index will sadly be near 110. So if you can help it, stay inside as much as you can for today. And we have a heat advisory that's going to start at 10 this morning, expire at 7 p.m. for tonight. And that's covering all of our Delta region, a large portion of eastern Arkansas, northern Louisiana, and also stretching east into the Alabama state line. We also have Octavia Hall County, Lowndes, Noxabee, and Winston counties under this heat advisory for today as well. So again, that will be in effect from 10 this morning until 7 p.m. for tonight. So around the country is 78 in Fort Worth, 68 in Omaha, 72 in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and 69 in D.C. Around the Delta is 70. 76 in Greenwood, 77 in Greenville, Clarksdale, and 75 in Tunica. Winds are still pretty calm for this morning. We're looking at three miles per hour for Greenville and Greenwood and six for Monticello. So as you're heading out to get the kids ready to go to school, bring them to the bus stop, it is still partly cloudy for this morning. It'll still be partly cloudy around 11 a.m., but we'll have more cloud cover gradually clearing out later today. And we're just going to reach the upper 90s for our high. We're looking at 98 possibly all around the Delta. We're seeing that for Grenada, Chula, Lake Village, Arkansas, and McGee, Arkansas, and Hollandale. And we're seeing 97 for Kosciuszko, Yazoo City, and 96 for Lake Providence. So again, very hot day. Unfortunately, that slight cool down that we had last week didn't last too long, but we will have another one moving in by the end of this week. So the overnight lows will be in the low to mid 70s. And then for Tuesday afternoon, we can start to have some rain moving in and winds will be light and variable at first, then becoming southeasterly around 5 to 10. So we have a marginal risk for severe weather for tomorrow. It is not covering all of the delta, just mainly the western edge and also the southern part of the delta. So Kahoma equipment, they're not included. Grenada County, Montgomery, most of Itala County is also not included under that marginal risk for tomorrow. And then for Wednesday, we have it going over the mid and south delta. So again, the northernmost part is still not included. Now, sometimes these risks shift to include more areas or some areas no longer are under the risk. We're just going to keep you updated as we track this ourselves for the next couple of days. But with this marginal risk, we can't rule out severe thunderstorms, hail, possible damaging wind gusts. So again, it's not definite that that will happen. That's just what could happen. So this weak cold front will be moving in through the Delta by later on for today, but still expecting mostly dry conditions as we head into this evening. Then we'll have this frontal system pushing through the Delta for Tuesday, and it'll continue to move in as we get into Wednesday, and that's going to help our rain chances to increase as we get into Wednesday and Thursday. So while rain chances are still pretty minimal for tomorrow, we do have that marginal risk, and then we have a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms for Wednesday, 40 for Thursday, then decreasing more so as we head into the weekend. Now, we'll be in upper 80s for Thursday and Friday, so thankfully another slight cool down is on the way, but by the weekend we should be in the low 90s again. Thanks for tuning in and have a magnificent Monday.